Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about why local politics matters and how all of you can get involved and hopefully create change. I hear so many people my age say that their voices don't matter and that no one will listen to them and that's completely false because everyone does have the opportunity to make their voice heard. Might not always be easy but you can do it if you really want to and instead of criticizing my generation like I usually do, I'm actually going to give some real advice in this video and try to help all of you out. The first thing that I want to say is that politics is not just about who the president is. Even if you didn't vote in the last Election, you probably know who the president is and what a lot of his positions are on different policies and while the president does have a pretty significant amount of power there are ways that you as an individual can create change especially in your local community my first tip is to pay attention to what's going on in your community read the local news talk to your neighbors figure out what policies are being proposed and who's proposing them follow your representatives on social media sign up for their email lists I would also recommend getting the app next door I think I've mentioned this in a few other videos but it's sort of like Facebook but only for your neighborhood and that's a really good way to keep up with what's going on in your neighborhood and when a lot of meetings are happening. I would highly recommend Nextdoor, it's helped me so much and I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out and download it. My second tip is to do your research. Once you've figured out what issues you care about, try to find out the history of them, what policies are being proposed now, what policies have been proposed in the past, and what groups and organizations have been involved. When I go to meetings, a lot of people assume that I've had some sort of formal education and policy, but I'm actually only about a month and a half into my first ever public policy class. I just read a lot of local news and blogs, and I just talk to people and find information for free on the internet. You don't have to take classes to be become educated on policy. A lot of information on the internet is pretty biased and obviously information that you get from other people is also going to be biased as well. But if you want to get information for free, you can totally do it just by going on the internet and talking to people. My third tip, which is probably the most important tip, is to show up to meetings. One of the best ways, in my opinion, to get involved in local politics is to go to community meetings. Whether it's a neighborhood association meeting, a city council meeting, a town hall meeting, a transit board meeting, you're going to be able to learn about local political issues and you're probably also going to have opportunities to make your voice heard. Some meetings are more casual, you can just raise your hand to speak, but at other meetings you'll have to make more of a formal public comment. The more formal meetings can be a little bit more intimidating and they're definitely a lot more intimidating for me, especially as a young person. So I would say maybe start with your neighborhood association so that you can meet some people that are interested in similar issues as you and then maybe you can go with them to one of the more formal meetings so that you don't have to go alone. I also want to say that it's completely okay to be scared. I was scared when I started going to meetings and I still get scared sometimes, especially when a lot of important people are there and that's totally okay, but don't let that fear stop you from making your voice heard. And even if you aren't feeling brave enough to make a public comment the first time, just go and watch and listen and see how everything works and then over time you'll probably gain the confidence to actually speak up. My fourth tip is to hold your representatives accountable. Your representatives are supposed to represent you. So if they aren't doing a good job, let them know. Talk to them at an event or meeting, give them a call, send them an email. Obviously do it in a respectful way, don't attack them or anything. Just try to explain in a respectful way how they could be representing you better. My fifth and final tip is don't give up. Learn from your mistakes and keep trying even if you don't succeed at first. I've definitely failed more times than I've succeeded when it comes to advocacy. And I still get discouraged sometimes and I still want to give up sometimes. But I know that I'll eventually be successful if I keep trying. And you will too. Everything isn't going to work out immediately. It's really hard to create change. and. I used to act like it was easy and I used to promote that, but it's really not. It's really a lot of work, but it's completely worth it to me and I hope that it will be worth it to some of you as well. If anyone that watches my videos ever wants to talk about any of this or if you want some advice or if you want me to go to a meeting with you if you live around where I live, I will absolutely do that for you. I know that I get frustrated a lot on social media and that's mostly because I've just been working so hard and I just haven't really been getting that much support from my generation, but I really do want to get as many young people involved as I possibly possibly can. I really want to support you all in any way that I can. So I think that's pretty much everything that I want to say in this video. Also be sure to register to vote if you haven't already because that's a really great way to influence who your representatives actually are. The link to register to vote is in the description of every single one of my videos. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay awesome and I'll see all of you very soon with a new one. Goodbye.